welcome to this session of rapid prototyping in previous session we were discussing a technology called beam deposition and in that technology we have discussed laser engineered net shaping that is lens in this session we will discuss another technique from the same technology that is beam deposition and in this session we will discuss about direct metal deposition so direct metal deposition in many cases will be very similar to the laser engineered net shaping process but it will have some difference and it was developed by another company uh, so those both those techniques are patented technology this dmd technology is patent of this organization called POM Incorporation. POM stands for Precision Optical Manufacturing. So, this direct metal deposition uh, is a trademark technology, patented technology, and DMD machines are manufactured by this company called Precision Optical Manufacturing Systems. So, what uh, we use in lens is NDYG lasers. But instead of NDYLG lasers, in DMD, we are using CO2 lasers. And in lens, we use three axis platforms. But in, in a direct metal deposition, we are using five axis machines. What uh, we use in lens is NDYLG lasers. But instead of NDYLG lasers, in DMD, we are using CO2 lasers. And in lens, we use three axis platforms, but in, in a direct metal deposition, we are using five axis machines. So you can control the motion of your part in five different axes. So it will give you more flexibility in terms of uh, uh, design and you can produce more complex part very easily. Now, well, no, this is the uh, diagram of this lens process. So, what the process will be like? There will be a CO2 laser. Instead of uh, NDYG laser, we are using CO2 laser. So, CO2 laser beam will be focused on the part which you want to boil. And the powder feeder will supply the powder, same as in the case of gas. And we are also inserting... Uh, shielding gas from the nozzle itself it was also very similar to the lens but the difference is we are using feedback sensors here so we will be using CCD cameras and this CCD cameras will give feedback uh, to the computers and according to the feedback the area of the nozzle the uh, air amount of powder that is being fed, the speed of this machine and the intensity of the laser, the focusing point of the laser will be controlled. So from this CCD, CCD is basically a camera, uh, it's a type of sensor which is normally used in camera. So these feedbacks are uh, optical uh, sensors and they will and this sensor will give optical feedback. So say they will capture the image here and depending on the image, they will send some feedback and from that feedback, the uh, area of the nozzle will be controlled, the amount of powder will be controlled, the speed will be controlled and the laser beam's focus will be controlled. So this is how the process of direct metal deposition will go and also it will have a five axis uh, base so the process itself is instead of three axis movement in xyz direction this will have a total of five axis so process becomes much more flexible just to visualize what flexibilities uh, we can have with five axis machine i am uh, I have an example here in which you can see that you can easily build a shape which is the slant which have some angle without any support structure. So if we want to build any, uh, uh, if we want to build this kind of shape 
with any other techniques then we will need to provide support structure over this part but due to its 5 axis uh, uh, arrangement we can build those complex parts those complex features without providing any kind of support structure so this is a very big advantage of using this 5 axis technology a shape which is the slant which have some angle without any support structure so if we want to build any uh, uh, if we want to build this kind of shape with any other techniques then we will need to provide support structure over this part but due to its 5 axis uh, uh, arrangement we can build those complex parts those complex features without providing any kind of support structure so this is a very big advantage of using this 5 axis technology now what are the advantages of this system so it has similar advantages that of lens that we have superior material pro properties and we can produce fully dense parts we can uh, produce metal parts which can be included in embedded structures and we have superior material properties even uh, superior metal material properties to that of uh, conventional methods also and the microstructures is will be very good relative to other uh, uh, methods we can also produce complex parts without any support structure which is a a, a very good uh, advantage to have then we have a feedback control system so this feedback control system will optimize your process parameters which will result in higher quality parts and which will result in less time of uh comparatively less time of printing and we have five axis control which will allow you to print more complex part without uh, using any support structure and the post processing will be reduced because you are producing fully dense part in a single go so no post processing will be required in most of the cases and in some cases just surface finishing will be needed but post curing is mostly avoided and what will be the disadvantages so it will have more or less same disadvantages it will have limited materials so you can only produce a metal parts we cannot use uh, other parts the physical size of the unit will also be very large and the power consumption of co2 laser is also very high also as we are using co2 laser and not nv nd ny sorry we are not using ndyg laser so the co2 laser uh, will have higher uh, wavelength and it will be absorbed less by the materials so you need to provide high power more than ndyg laser and this will result in higher uh, heat affected zone compared to lens also the heat transfer to the platform will also be higher as compared to lens and the application of this process includes uh, repair of dies which were broken and we can refurbish those dies so we do not have to manufacture entire dies again but we can use the same die with some minor repairs we can produce thermal management systems so we can produce uh, uh, cooling channels for injection molding and uh, in aluminum die casting cavities so you are producing cavities for uh, so cavities in solid metal parts where you can provide cooling channels which is not possible by any conventional method to manufacture you can produce metal prototypes directly which is a great advantage otherwise you have to produce a prototype of polymer and then you have to cast the metal prototypes which will be more time consuming and we can also do some surface manufacturing we can uh, do some surface modification we can provide some coatings of special materials special metals 
to a particular part so you can uh, produce a tool from uh, your normal steel and you can you can provide a coating of titanium using this dmb process and it will uh, increase the hardness of this tool very uh, drastically and sometimes uh, the engines or uh, components of aerospace or f aircraft which will have very high uh, lead time so single component of uh, aerospace or aircraft uh, uh, industry will require 3 or 4 months to manufacture so instead of building those components from scratch when a component is worn out we can repair those component using this uh, DMD technology otherwise those components are not normally required due to the criticality factor but this technology we can but with this technology we can actually repair those components also so this will be all for this technology called direct metal deposition that is DMD 